Hello and welcome to this video in which we're going to show you how to apply for the MA in Music Production at Spirit Studios. Now obviously we're going to talk through the process, but more importantly we're going to give you some guidance on what we're looking for so that you can submit your strongest possible application. Now before we go any further, I should mention that everyone that applies for this course will have a one-to-one -one consultation with the program leader. This can be either before or after you submit your application. If you'd like to do this before, you can simply request it via the inquiry form on our website and we'll arrange that for you. Now, as you may know, the MA in Music Production is validated by the University of Central Lancashire, or UCLan. And so to apply for it, you need to go to UCLan's portal. And the web address for that is myportal.uclan.ac.uk. Now, assuming you haven't already done so, the first thing you need to do is to register for the portal. So I'm just going to do that now. And for this example, I'm going to use a fictitious student by the name of Peter Jones. Now, unsurprisingly, to register, you have to enter and verify an email address. I'm sure you've all done this many times before, so I'm going to speed up this part of the video. And you also, of course, have to set a password. And, of course, there are some T's and C's to accept. But now that we're in, the first thing we have to do is complete our profile starting with some personal information. And again, this is so straightforward, I'm just going to speed through this section of the video. You shouldn't have any difficulty. You are applying for a master's after all. Now in this section here, you see we can enter or upload some supporting information. You can actually do this as part of your application process, but we might as well do it now. So I'm going to start with qualifications. And as you can see, we have a section for qualifications achieved and qualifications pending. Let's imagine that Peter has three A-levels, so we'll add those one at a time here. And again, I'm going to speed up the video. And we'll say that Peter has a pending HE qualification as well. In the employment section, you can enter any jobs that you've had. Ideally, we're looking for jobs with relevant experience. So if you have any of those, definitely put that in. But We'll leave it up to your personal judgment as to whether or not you want to include any other employment history as well. In Peter's case, let's just say that he worked in a venue as a sound engineer, so we'll add that. And then the final tab on the right here is where you can upload any kind of documentation. Now, uh, one thing that we definitely want to see is evidence of any qualifications. So let's start by uploading some PDFs of Peter's qualifications here. I'm just going to upload a couple. And something else we'll definitely be looking out for is references. Um, if at all possible, we'd like an academic reference. And if you have a professional reference that you also consider is worthwhile, then upload that too. So now that we've done all that, let's actually start an application. So we click on Begin. And for type of study, we want Postgraduate Taught. Now for the course, if we just start to type Music, you can see the MA in Music Production appears on the drop-down here. So let's just select that. And for Campus, there should only be one option, Spirit Studios. Mode of Study, you've got a part-time or full-time option. Uh, we'll say that Peter is going to go mm, full-time. And then you need to select your start date. Once you've done that, save and continue. Now here you shouldn't really have much to add because you have already set this up on your profile. So again, we're just going to save and continue. And again, and yet again. Now here you can see we've got the qualifications that I entered earlier. We can edit these if we want to, but we're not going to in this case. Here we've got to say where our most recent education was. You'll remember that I said Peter had gone to UCLan. And once again, we don't need to edit anything here, so we're going to skip this. And now we come to what is almost certainly the most important part of your application, your personal statement. Now, of course, this is down to you, but we do have a bit of guidance that we're going to share with you to help. First of all, length or word count. We'd recommend somewhere in the region of 500 to 1,000 words. That's roughly going to be the equivalent of an A4 sheet of paper. As for things to include, well, obviously, we'd like to hear about your music and sound experience. This can be professional work, but it doesn't have to be. Anything you've done off your own back, so, for example, if you've got a home studio set up, or maybe you help out at a local venue, anything like that, do tell us about it. By the same token, do tell us about any music and sound education you've undertaken. 
We'd also like to know about your specific interests within this field and how doing the MA will help you achieve your goals. Typically, a personal statement would also include examples of any proficiencies or achievements, particularly relevant to the subject matter, but again, you can use your judgment about what to include. One really useful thing for you to provide is links to any of your material, be it uh, via SoundCloud or YouTube, Spotify, whatever. If you have any other music or sound related qualifications, such as Pro Tools certification or any music exams, you should definitely put those in too. And in actual fact, you could upload the certificates to your supporting documents. Now I can't be bothered to type all this in, so I'm just going to paste something that I have uh, plagiarized slightly. I would definitely not recommend this as a personal statement. But having done that, I can click Save and Continue. Now, as you can see, this has taken us to Document Upload. We're not going to add anything, so one final time, Save and Continue. And now, assuming that I'm happy with my application, all that remains is for me to tick the declaration and click Submit. And as you can see, we get a confirmation that the application has been submitted and we get an email as well. So hopefully you found this video useful. If at any stage of the process you do require help, then please do not hesitate to get in contact with us, either by phone or email at Spirit Studios, and we will definitely be back in touch to help. As I mentioned earlier, at some point in the process, you will have a one-to-one -one consultation with our program leader. That can be before you start your application, halfway through, or after you've completed it. So finally, I'd just like to say thank you for your attention. Uh, good luck with your application, and we hope to see you soon.